right, well, talk to me. What am I in? Give me the rundown. Give me the official John Deere blurb. So you're our new flagship model from Mannheim in Germany. It's our 6250R. It's just 250 horsepower rated. Boosting to, to 290 with a max performance, just over 300 horsepower. And there's two models in this range, um, a 230 and a 250. Um, they both come with the, uh, the option of the Command Pro joystick. So again, this is our latest generation of transmission control, a new multifunction controller. You have 11 programmable buttons or functions on the actual joystick, so everything from your PTO, your hydraulics, your hitch, your auto track activations, your isobus controls can all be configured individually onto that joystick control for you. So the minute you're driving there in your, uh, <coughs> your Command Pro mode, you can also then have the drive pedal mode. So you can then use the uh, accelerator pedal to really just change your. Can I your go forward straight? Speed. Yeah, right. straight to it. No need to stop. No need to switch over. It'll then pick up your settings. So that's something which is pretty unique in the market. And again, it just allows you a lot of flexibility to, uh, to operate between between different driving styles. That is Johnson Galpin's running last today in it is Edinburgh indeed. branch. Yes, it is indeed. So, what's your possession there? Uh, well, I'm an uh, agricultural sales manager, so, but I've been with the company now uh, geez, 16 years, coming this year. Albeit I had a wee wobble to uh, the blue camp for a couple of years in between. Right, but, okay. Uh, <laughs> my, uh, my heart lies with the green and yellow product, so. You had to come back? I had to come back, mate. This is the 215 we're on there, and this is the old yep. flagship. This was the flagship, yes. Um, called it the large frame. So you got a small frame, four cylinder, mid frame was your 145, 155. Yeah, yeah. Large frame was your uh, 175, 195, 215. So, what have we got now? An extra large frame and a 230 and a 250? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's going to get in the road here. <laughs> they didn't be deeper on that road. I think there's a race on here, Well, uh, I think, uh, I think, I think, I think we <laughs> you take two young boys to a racetrack, put them in tractors with big tankers, and, well, it's only going to end up one way, isn't it? <laughs> there's the difference. Bye-bye, yeah. boys. Lovely doing is. Oh, I think we have just seen the difference. <laughs> Performance. <laughs> Didn't realise the old uh, auto box could do that. Well, we've focused a lot in terms of all our AVT transmissions. So on a John Deere, you've got a four range transmission. So you have four mechanical ranges. So at the main field ranges, you have a lot more mechanical efficiency through the gearbox. And also at your top end transport speeds, you have a lot more mechanical efficiency. So actually the, the power to weight ratio and also the drive performance you get from an auto power IVT, it sets the industry benchmark and acceleration and also power transmission from engine through the, the rear axle. If you then switch on the bottom there, your vario steer. So now if you uh, play with your steering wheel. Right. So if you now driver and you'll just see now when you're steering, say if you're working in a, a field application, that, the only track drive had that I really know with that there on it was, um, in fairness, the Valtra. Mm -hmm. She had the wee button you pushed and you went from like, I don't know many times, but you just like... Yeah, she spin spinning around. So this basically sets it up now where you can, uh, a lot less oh steering effort to, oh to work. So if you're in loader work or if you're in field work, then it gives you a lot less operator effort. <laughs> She's funky. <laughs> She's funky. I'll say if we took her above 15k now, she'll automatically kick out for you. She's funky, bush. There's no work involved in doing that at all. No, on a good tight tier, steering lock on it as well. Oh, I just don't want to run the, the old tanker. Wow! So let me talk through some of these here functions. Now this is spool valve functions here. Yep. This can be anything you want. Yep. So if I, how do I set like a min speed and max speed? Is it easy done? So to basically adjust your min and max speeds if you choose mode one and two down the bottom. So if you hit one of the buttons, 
and under here it switches over between them so you can then tap on the top of the screen to adjust to bring it in and you would set in your speed mode here Sorry. so then literally you would just set that up to be whatever speed you want to be for mode one and mode two so then whenever you go into it now you literally when you're in your drive mode you just flick it across to the right hand side and then that should set the upper limit of where the uh, transmission goes to so if you now go to there It'll take you to your 42k. No, or 18. Or First 18 of all. My 42. My 42. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> and again, in the field, you can set that there for, say, field mode and then headland mode and just flick between the two of them. So as you can see, the engine's coming in with the transmission. Who's this tractor aimed for? Aim for contractors, large scale farmers, um, really people that are looking for machines that are cross use so very good in transport very good in uh, field mode so again it's quite a low basic weight we can ballast it up quite heavily with uh, increased front ballast or rear ballast if you're looking for grip and traction and it really is a, a good all-rounder well, for a guy with like say for instance three mowers three mowers this is a dream this is the tractor yeah this is the tractor because you're is your seven series just not perfect or what's the thoughts there or? seven series again you have a little bit more uh, weight on the tractor at the power level that we're at so again it's just trying to, to balance off power to weight ratio and what you really want is a tractor that's strong and stable this has got longer mm -hmm. wheelbase so it helps with stability and a very very good power to weight ratio so a b c oh, on a corner a b c and d so I can program that into anything, any, any spool valve, so I can, if, yeah. if I prefer, so say I get it wrong out there, as in I plug, you know, not yeah. not the one to correspond with A, yeah. I can change that to as I feel, it. so if I have whatever a harvester on there, no matter which one I have it in, I can have A, turn in the spout, whatever, yeah. my said revs. And then the numbers, well, the 10, 11, 12, the numbers really just go for the different designation of what the, the buttons are. So on the, the big buttons, you can get double functions programmed into them. And then your other ones refer to the likes of more the Isobus type functions you can program in. And again, you can customize the joystick to suit you. We have an auto track, track made for the, the actual circuit here. So you'll really? not really be able to let go of the steering wheel here. And so it'll take you right can I give it a go? Track. You can indeed. So if you press the, the third tab along from the left, to turn here. your auto track on. And then just whenever you're ready, hit the auto steer button on your command arm there. Here. That's it. So you line yourself up. So you just. That. And you can flick your steering wheel up out of the road. And keep the, the faith. For the purposes of the camera. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Sit back and relax now. Is this the latest form of the guidance in her get and what would it be here? Aye, it would be. This is a Gen 4 display. <laughs> That's unreal, isn't it? Aye. What way did you program that, Andy? Or did you just do a lap of the track and then aye. just she records yeah. it? And that's the same as doing the outside of... It is, aye. You basically press start and drive your track. Wherever you finish, press uh, done. And she'll generate those curves then sort of infinitely. Yeah. I just, I think I just grab yeah. this then. If I, the minute I touch the wheel, I'm I controlling you. Correct it, yeah. yeah.